Okay. So, as you've heard, my name is Asatu, and I will be talking to you about what I learned from inspiring myself. And what I want you to take from this talk, and the question I want you to ask yourself, I'm actually wearing the t-shirt itself, I want you to ask yourself what the world needs more of, in your opinion, and I'll get back to that towards the end. Fancy stuff. Ta-da! Okay, so before I start this talk, I just want to explain to you that there will be three main factors I'm going to be talking about today, and those will be macro, meso, and micro. If you couldn't tell by now, I'm a sociology student, so that's how I understand things today. Um, so the macro is basically what surrounds you in the world and what affects you and brings you to your socialization. So today we are affected hugely by globalization and that refers just to the media by which we are kind of centered around and I know everyone has a cell phone here. If you don't have a cell phone, you've been living under a rock. <laughs> um, and everybody kind of is into the whole Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. And today what we realize in the world is that unless for some reason there is a stigma that you need to have a huge following to inspire people. And I really want to tell you that that is not true. A wise man once told me, you need to inspire, and you have to be inspired in order to inspire others. And also, you need to listen before you think you can lead someone. Which brings us to the generation you, generation focused around you, 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 you. So you have to be able, you know it's true, don't <laughs> laugh. Uh, <laughs> and so you kind of get that fact where it's all about us now, and you kind of have to step out of that little bubble that we have, that we've kind of s created, and be like, you know what, I'm really comfortable here. You gotta take a little step, and just be like, oh, hi, how are you doing? What's up? <laughs> <laughs> and so that brings you to the me, oh my god, I think I made that fall, okay. I'm just destroying things today. Oh well, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> so this brings us to the me, so I planned this. Uh, which is you're equal to your community. So it doesn't matter if it's your school, it doesn't matter if it's your family, it doesn't matter if it's just people you've just met. You know what I mean? Like, for example, I will just um, explain my high school experience. I'm basically a third culture child, which means I've never been in a place for longer than two years. So I think I've been in about 12 countries. I kind of lost track of time. Um, I went to a s university... Uh, God, a high school that was uh, surrounded by cast hours, which means we had to do extracurricular activities after school or you wouldn't graduate. Yes, it, it was very scary, but it actually helped a lot in the sense that we learned things that we didn't know before. I learned other people's stories, people who were my age, who had gone through so much more than I have ever been through, and I don't think I can go through it at this point in time. But that brought me to bring here the project What the World Needs More of, which was a UN initiative that was taken about two years ago. I helped in the process of creating it. They wanted to go out in the streets and actually talk to the um, community out there, and they wanted to involve them. And so I really wanted to bring that to the university, and I was able to do that last year, which allowed people to focus on the micro. Ooh, that was really well-timed. Um, which means you, yourself, so you need to find yourself before you think you can help other people. You need to know what you want in life. I'm not saying today, because, you know, the struggle is real. But um, you need to find your focus, and you need to really engage people, and you need to know what you like. You need to know what you're passionate about, because when you're passionate about something, you're going to do it the best you can, and you're going to be obsessed with it, and that's where you're really going to excel. So this brings me to your decision. So how will you inspire yourself? And like I said, keep in mind, um, oh. basically I asked students that question. I'm gonna ask two of you. Oh, oh okay. Um, so what do you think ins the world needs more of? Will someone answer that question? Or should I just put somebody on the spot? You did it! Don't be putting your hand up. I'm a pick on you. Sorry, the guy in the purple shirt. Because you have a lot of humor, and I like that. <laughs> what does the world need more of? Yes. It needs more humor. Thank you. That was really good. That was really good. And so I asked a bunch of university students, and we had a lot of different responses. We had ambition, care, love, peace. And it just showed that once, once you get people talking about something like this, you kind of get them 
to really focus on other things but themselves, and even that applies to university students, and the learning curve is constant. You're never gonna be done learning, even though you, you, know, you might be done with university at some point in life or school, but it's the experiences in life that are gonna take you somewhere, and that is how you're gonna learn what the world needs more of in your perspective. Thank you. <laughs>